who's looking for a dastardly show this evening. It is that time again. We are back together for a joyous occasion. A time when we can be one together. Yous and me's in this colorful universe. This place of color. Colorful place. So many things to do, so little time. And tonight, we are showcasing the Force 2 VR. For it is amazing. It is a truly foundational device. And if you haven't freaking tried it, you need to. At some point in your life, if you like shooter games, if you like first-person shooters, this is a game that you have to try. A game changer. That can accessory for the gods. It's amazing. The kind of force feedback feeling that you get from this is like nothing else. I've played actual paintball. This is the nearest to virtualizing that feeling. It's amazing. Like when you're actually connected that way, and th this is coming from a guy, I've got a shaker for my chair, a shaker for my sofa, I've got a force feedback wheel, I've got all the bits. I've got all the bits that a man could want. And then this lovely little lady came along and danced into my life and changed the game forever. Force tube. Mm. I'm looking forward to this now. Ho hi, 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 hi. Ha, da, 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 da. Now, before we go much further, I must inquire whether or not the tubulators are working. On top they are. Maybe they are. If you see me, did I press the button? I pressed the button. Good. Anyone on the tubes, please say yes. Or say something else. Please, no nasty things. Compliment my hair. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. If I had the Zim Point system working here in the tubes, I would send love your way. Let's do it. <laughs> Kids to feed. Well, that's fair. That's why part of the reason I delayed the show. I was like, we gotta, we gotta push this a little bit later. Just, a, just an hour. Just an hour, and we did it. We did it. Okay, we're good. We're ready. Everything's running. I'm seeing a little light. Maybe the light. Let me check my processor. I'm running a lot right now. It may be like a choking just a little bit. Are you choking, Mr. CPU? Because I think you might be. He might be like a little bit like. I'm just gonna stick it up there in, in like summary view and leave it in the corner. Be good. How's it going, sea bass? How's the hand? Everything dead yet? All the nerve endings bundled. Seriously, why do you take a broken finger and make it like, I mean, you should see this guy's splint, right? It's like this. It's like, I broke my pinky. Yes, that's not gonna catch on anything. Nope. Oh, oh! <laughs> why do you do that with a splint? I don't know. I don't know. This seems like a freaking horrible idea. Can you imagine just like trying to sleep 
at night and like you pull a blanket up and like it's like catching. All right, all right. You tried uh, custom songs on Beat Saber? What, on Quest or just like the first time ever? It's fine, it's fine, yeah. Didn't you break your finger while playing with us? I feel bad. I don't really, I feel badass. I feel like I helped you discover the true, the truth about VR, right? <laughs> it's so real. <laughs> when you break your finger in VR, you fucking just broke your finger, dude. Go see the doctor. That's the, uh, that's the thing. Right. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into Jingle Town and do this now. So, what are we doing tonight? We are playing contractors with this little puppy that I like to call the giant fucking gunstock that is the ProTube VR. Now, we got this as part of a promotion with Onward, and I haven't actually played Onward since then, so the plan is to tonight play some Onward. It's only a 36 gigabyte game. Now, one of the things, if you get one of these, I want to show you, that confused the feck out of me at the beginning. And I was like, what? How do you feckin' bring the bipod down? How do you stop that? How do you... I, I was like, you pushed the button, wasn't doing anything, extending the legs, so I was like, it's pretty stable. Works well as a bipod. You know, you can kind of line your shot up or whatever. That all works. But how do you make it more compact so you're not like whacking yourself in the legs with it or whatever? Um, and the answer to that question, because it's the most annoying thing in the world and you're like, if you're not a military dude, anyone in the chat know the answer by the way? You guys are, uh, you know, you know this stuff. I know you know this stuff. This little button, you push it down with your thumb. People like that. are saying horrible things in chat. And then it folds Better up. Check that out. Like the leg of a chicken. So if you ever see a chicken and it's got this little this little bit on its leg, you just push that button down and the chicken leg springs right up. It's really handy. Super handy. Like when you're when you're carving the turkey or whatever at Christmas, just look for that little button. And then the leg comes up. Carving job made so much easier. That is a bipod, my friend. Why the fact would you put a bipod on a device that you have in your room? Well, I'll tell you, it is a fulcrum. There is a moment arm. We are using big words tonight. There is a moment arm provided by the fact that you have this giant feckin' thing hanging around your chest, okay? Right, like this. And then the second you take your hand off of it, what happens? The heavy bit, i.e. this part, makes the whole thing go blue, And it's got an instant erection. And what are you gonna do in the middle of a match? Do you want an instant erection? I don't. I don't. Uh, so leaving this thing on is probably a good idea. Having it in this mode though, it becomes like you're swinging in a tree in the middle of your house. I mean, this is like some serious like feckin' clearage. You got children? You don't got children no more. You got aunties? Nope, they're gone. Everybody's dead. So um, do be careful with this thing. Green screens? Yep, that's penetrable. Might even get penetrated tonight, you know? All the words I've used, if YouTube has parsed them, this thing is never going to get promoted. We're going to have 12 views on this video, lads and ladies. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. There's the uh, there's the bipod, and I thought I would describe to you exactly what that's all about. Okay, so that's something that's important. So there's that. There's that. Um, rec room wrecked me. Yeah, it's fucking. It's so funny. Like breaking your finger in rec room. I mean, that's like that's like something like back in my day. I broke a finger in rec room. <laughs> it's like, how'd you do that, Dad? Well, well, Sonny Jim. You see, your mother was only a binary little character to me, and I saw her off in a bush, and there was a big bully. He was saying all these nasty things about your mama. So I decided to go over to the bully and stand up for her. And uh, in trying to do that while I was walking over, I didn't realize I was walking in real life, and I fell into my desk, and then I broke my finger. But it was almost valiant. It was really, really close to being valiant. So, there you go. Good afternoon, GT. I, because your name is twice, GT, GT. I always imagine someone's like revving an engine. So I hope that's what you intended with the double GT. Um, or maybe I should just call you GT2X. Or something like that. GT to the factory. Right. So there's that thing. Now I'm gonna show you 
this other stock. This is the best stock I've ever had. This one is called the Bonanza Zizer. And the Bonanza Zizer is a special modification. It's got a load based balancing spring. So every time you take a shot, when the force feedback kicks in, it takes it into the coil sprung ring. And then this thing grabs you in the bollocks and you go, ah! <laughs> I have fun with you guys. Maybe too much fun. Maybe too much fun. Let's actually play the game now. <laughs> it's, it's been a long week, you know? It's been a long week. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sprint whatever the feck I said. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Sometimes I, I surprise myself in the best of ways. Right, let's get rid of the monster gag because we don't need that where we're going. We're going to jump over. Uh, GT is good, but I used to own a GT Mustang. Oh, right. So now I'm just going to imagine like it's GT's GT. It's like this car. And I'm going to imagine that you did like some really, because I've been watching too much like Breaking Bad and stuff. Like you did a really seedy drug deal that didn't go well and they had to crush the car. And you're there like with a sol solitary tear just rolling down your face as they're just compressing your car into this metallic cube. Anyway, that's that. Let's try this out. Now, one thing I will mention, I am wearing a lapel mic, okay? It is there. I thought I would just be like, yeah, there you go. I got a wife and now I own a Nissan Micro. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Um, and so, as this comes in here, this is the other thing I have to show you. If this is your first time seeing a force tube, first off, if you've got an existing Pro tube, so the actual stock bit, you can buy this separately, okay? They, they are selling them now. Their Kickstarter kind of semi-flopped. It did like, what, 70% of its target, and then uh, they still are fulfilling orders or whatever. But if you want this thing, <clears throat> you can get it separately, or you can get the whole kit. Now in Europe, it costs a little bit extra because we've got value-added tax, which is lovely. We all love VAT. Um, and, and the way this thing works is this little thing here. This just, you can see, ducks in and out, okay? Some batteries in there that are rechargeable. Shall I show you those? I'm just going to cover this off for anyone who's never seen how this thing works before. It's Bluetooth connected. If you don't have a Bluetooth adapter, you need one. Um, in future models, they might ship with it. It comes with the dodgiest ass batteries and a charger. And that's that. And then these little shaky bits that do two different types of force feedback. One, if you're using like a submachine gun, they will uh, they will vibrate. So it's kind of a light my vibration, something akin to what you can expect in like your touch controllers. And then um, if, if, if you're actually taking like rifle shots, single, you know, high velocity rounds, then the game interacts with the API of the game. So it doesn't have any bleed, it doesn't have any bleed like a, um, like a, like a butt kicker or a sub pack. It's not just guessing. It's not just the bassy sounds. It's literally gunshots. It's literally like everything that they've programmed for that interface to adopt, it works with this. And it's freaking good. It is so good. So what you're going to hear, you can hear a lot of clacking and the clacking is coming from this thing. And the, if you get one of these, one of the core things to note is when you do the setup, right? When you get this all set up, one of the things, and I've got the ones with the mag, uh, the magnet, definitely get the magnet ones. I can't imagine because you'd have to grab something off your belt and you just stick it back on. And after a little while, you get muscle memory, and that's that. You line this up. You actually want it so you can rest your cheek on this thing, okay? Just like a real, a real butt of a rifle as you're lining up for your shot, okay? So you've got that or whatever. And then the other thing you want to know is this guy here. You want to pull it back as hard as you can, really, into your shoulder. Because the more pull back into your shoulder that you give it, the better the feel you get, the better the kick. And I'll tell you, when you pull it back real nice and tight, gives you a nice kick. Okay, so that's that. And then of course you got your uh, your your old guitar strap or whatever that is. <clears throat> okay, that's all the basics covered for anybody who didn't know what this was about. Let's play the game. If you want to play Contractors, I will be playing on public servers. Uh, feel free to join me. I'm also using tonight the Rift S, okay? This is uh, the latest version of the Rift headset. I like it. Some slight things you're gonna notice. Tracking can sometimes be a little bit funny if the gun is quite static. Um, so you'll probably notice that in some of the shots I'm taking tonight. Also, don't expect me to be soaring on top of the leaderboards. I'm not particularly great at this game. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. Hmm. 
tax up the yin yang. Yeah, GT, I know, I know. But, um, you know, there's a price to be paid for freedom. Okay, and sanity and all that kind of stuff. Right, let's go ahead and get on this. Now, uh, I need to go ahead and kick off the Les Contractors and then we will uh, go. Shibingos, right. So, um, hmm. I kind of like the black and white look. It's kind of neat. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to wear this though. That's not going to work. I kind of like it. But why do I have a quest hanging up there? That's not right. I clearly forgot that. Now I could stick that up there, but I don't think so. We'll, get, we'll leave you the we'll leave you the view. All right. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the times as well. We don't need that. So I will show you as best I can what this is all about. I am going to go back to a nice colored view though, because um, I don't think we need necessarily to be <clears throat> black and white right now. And this thing matches me actually. It's a red and black just like me. Um, and then we're going to do what? contractors that's it so I do that it's a little bit of a struggle because you got to think like what do I got to put on first so I recommend this order you go gun <laughs> okay gun stock All right. that's first second headset third headphones if you have that stuff now the other thing that I have is I actually have a sub pack as well I'm not going to wear that right now because all that together is actually a lot right um, I do I do actually use it that way but it is a lot yeah so, let's see how we go. Okay. Now, if I manage to wreck my environment, I apologize, environment. <laughs> this is going to be fucking fun. All right. Uh, let's go, ladies. Hang on. The thing that really bugs me, this is a silly man thing, is like, I want to get my hair out from underneath the foam and stuff. And then if I do that, it straps it down. Now, the last time I did this, the top strap, if you want to call it that, wasn't pulled taut, and it was like kicking up. And I was like, what the hell? All right, now I've got my headphones. Now, they're the biggest limiter in terms of what's there. I might need to extend that. How can I do this best? How can I do this best? I could go for like earbuds or something something a little bit closer to me thinking here now because i don't think i want to go off the pc tonight because of that reason so i'm thinking now let me see what options do i have i do have something over here hold on a minute just um just a minute i'm gonna go for a different kind of headphone yeah i'm gonna go for a different kind of headphone let's go for these ones these are sennheiser with a simple 3.5 mil jack, add-on. Rambo would wear the sub pack. Yeah, Chad, I will wear the sub pack. Uh, don't worry. I just, at the start, I, you know, while I'm getting things kind of smoothly running and all that, I like to kind of just keep it simple. Just to start. I'm usually badass like that, but I've, this room is already quite hot. <laughs> and it's like, within 10 minutes, I'm going to be sweltering like, it's going to be like a tropical feckin' th thunder in here. Right, so... Let's go ahead and do that. No. Now, the different, the various like Sennheisers and things. Hang on. I don't actually know. Where's the feckin' port? There? I'm gonna end up like smack cracking uh, uh, one of the cameras just by like plugging into it. <laughs> that would be fun. Not. Okay. Put that over the top of my head, down the back of my shirt. Oh, it's already getting swampy in here. Oh, oh yeah. I bet you, you should be excited to see this thing in action. It's fucking cool. Now, one thing I'm having a problem with, I'm already sweating. Um, and it's already fogging the lenses. That's crazy. Okay, let's see here now. So, I'm gonna, uh, you can see this stuff, good. And if I just go... I'm gonna to need to reset my view probably about here. Okay, let's see here now. Is that guy dead? Did you die on me? <laughs> Please don't tell me I lost the fucking controller already. Oh God, I probably did. Zip. Okay. 
Now, one of the things is I have to run SteamVR for this to work properly. Resume playing. Let's go. Now, I think, I, I think I'm out of a battery. Shit. Do I, am I really a battery down? Do I not have a battery around here? For feck's sake. Hey, Ben, how's it going? Uh, um, how, did you say how much the BFG costs in pounds? Uh, it's on their website, which is protubevr.com. Um, which I don't remember specifically. Oh God, I need a battery. Oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> this is crazy. The amount of like stuff. But like, for some reason, the moisture off my hair or something, or is it just my sweat? What's getting at me? Something is like insta-fogging my lenses. And this never happens, rarely. Um, anyway, I gotta undo myself, go get a fecking battery, because I, shit, fecking. <laughs> Rambo never had to deal with this shit. All right, that's fine. All right, take that out, bit by bit. What a joke. Now, the big question. How much, how much is the CPU overutilized? Oh, it is. God damn it. That means I'm gonna have to reduce some stuff. All right, cool, how's it going? Hey, Rowdy. Fucking Rowdy always shows up just when things are breaking. I gotta get a fucking battery. I gotta go under my green screen and I will be back. <laughs> I'm gonna get a couple of batteries. I'm gonna get like 10 batteries. The thing is, I have batteries. They're just all down the feckin' hallway, and that's the problem. All right, listen to some Monster Cat while I'm away. Who wants more? Back in the Stuart wouldn't like you saying that. Combat. Dive. Successful. Oh, that's why I was wondering. I was like, why is this controller dead? It's because the power management on these is not good. When you launch an app or whatever, it's like, oh, hello. And it does a battery wake up. And then later, that's of course then a problem. At least you get to see how easy it is to get in with all the bits. It happens. Dang it, it didn't drop. Isn't that door shuts off? Yeah, I found like the S is, is like not very well managed that way. All right. Now, what can I do to save? I'm gonna try and save uh, CPU time here. Thinking what I can do. Cause I wasn't, I didn't know I was gonna have to run it through Steam as well. I think that's not much I can do. Team VR is fucking hungry though. Um, I'm just looking at stuff I can do. Not a lot. Okay, we're gonna leave it. All right, so what order again? This guy first. Oh, I better make sure to turn him off. I'm gonna beat off. Make it so it's glad he doesn't get that close. Yeah, kill that. Good. All right, we're in. I can't wait to play. Rowdy, you, you actually think of joining. Are you actually gonna come play? It'd be great if you did. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm gonna shoot somebody. Shoot somebody you love, right? You know what they say? Now, the other thing that's annoying about the Rift S, which I, I really notice a lot, is um, is the fact there's no quick on off. You can't just ex extend it like, um, like some of the other bits. Like you definitely, what the hell? Why is it going all jet? What the fuck? What's that all about? That doesn't make me feel sick at all. No, no, that's all, that's, that feels good. Yeah, yeah, keep doing that, please. The feck is that? Why are you shuddering? I think it's trying to guess because the CPU's over cooked or whatever. All right, I better turn down the settings. 
Oh my God. The, the stuff we're having tonight. You know, I thought this was going to be a lot easier. Because <laughs> I was like, I've got all the bits working. And then the trouble is uh, the performance of this machine. I am getting a new PC put together. I've actually got the case and all that already ready. Uh, but I think it's it's just it's probably too much for it to handle. So let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can modify a few things here. Hopefully give it a little bit of. Oh my God, that's very very trouble inducing. Plus I'm not hearing anything in the menu at all, uh, which is weird. All right, not that's not what I wanted. I didn't want loadouts. Fuck's sake, guys. I'm sorry about this. This is totally shit. What the hell's going on? Oh my god. Fucking hell, I'm quitting this bloody app. Something went wrong and your device can't track the movement of your headset. Yeah, of course. This is, uh, this is painful, like... Quit app. How do I tell it to F off? Oh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do! Feck this. Goddamn. All right. Hey, how's it going, Doc? How's it going? What's the science behind the faulty tech? Uh, the fact that I'm squir squ screwing my CPU for 100%. That's why. <laughs> I know what's happening, but there's little I can do about it. Because um, Steam VR is needed to run this thing, and I didn't know that before today on this PC. Um, hmm. I'm going to try to... Looks like a great time. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. That's so nice. It's just lovely. I'm just going to give it some breathing time. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to try to run Oculus Home and a frickin' VR window and a, and a, and a, and a, and it's like trying to run six things that are all CPU hungry at the same time and I can't kill any of them. And you guys are seeing it as well. I think there's a bit of a lag. Looks like I joined at a great time. You did, Doc. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm having, everything's like set up, but I'm having problems. I'm having problems, dude. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's see if we can get it working. I hope so. I hope so. Now, this looks nice. See when it's like running... W I say running well. Look at that. Uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Okay. If I have to, I will just kill the mirror. And we won't do that. Okay. I'm going to try it a different way, because I think it's too taxing to play that way. I'm going to try one more. You got it. Thank you for the detail. Thank you. Okay. That thing rumbled at me. That's a good sign. Let's get it kicked off first, and then I will show you. I know there's, you can't see anything right now. That's okay. We're nearly there. <laughs> Stay with me, folks. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is pretty normal, though, having problems. Come on. But me not hearing anything? That's weird. Um, I think it's because I'm running it not through the headset or whatever. I'm gonna have to take this off. Forget that for audio. That's not gonna work. All right, that's probably because I have it set to not deliver to the headset. Now, let's see. Is that smoother for me? That's smoother for me. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna get to see this view in just a second. All right. I might have to take the bipod off as well because if I'm gonna have to use if I if I have to use my headset for audio, I mean you guys will hear the audio off the off the PC anyway, so it'll be all fine. It wouldn't be PC gaming if it worked the first time. That's right, T Dub. That is absolutely 100% right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's see if I can grab the right window. Show you. That looks good. Okay. So, now performance-wise, how are we doing? Thank you, Steam, for covering all my feckin' windows. Still 100% utilization, huh? Right, well, I did, that's, that's my fault, my bad. Last night I, I went on and I played a little bit, very little bit, and uh, I jacked everything up to, like, highest, so that's my fault, because now I'm encoding, and of course, it doesn't have this, the bandwidth. Uh, bear with me. Right. Bear with me. Or you're fired. Right. Settings. 
uh, foveated right eye spectator screen uh, right eye display it's exactly what we want is it just stuck for you it's just stuck for you oh that's why spectator screen enabled okay right eye display resolution medium uh, bloom low textures medium anti-aliasing low okay how's our cpu doing now still 100 percent <laughs> jesus resolution low i hate to do it maybe you like that like anything to get it into into shape i'll just fucking why not texture low Fuck. make everything look muddy it's not gonna look pretty <laughs> right now custom game region europe password none create all right we're going to create a game and we're just going to get in and then that's that uh right uh let's see free for all pit i wanted to set up the settings so do we go map not going to do extraction i'm going to do uh control control yeah okay wildlands do the prison 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 it is and host must start game in 260 seconds okay now i will show you and then we will join something once i get this all and i'm working smoothly i hope it's gonna run well for you if it doesn't if it doesn't we're in, we're in trouble all right come on now so stick those things out hopefully so it grabs my audio a bit less than it would now we get to actually show you what this is all about now loadouts i'm gonna grab salt rifle i've got it on the lowest settings apologies but that's going to be needed for the time being now last time i set up all my rifles so the rifles should be okay sorry these look so terrible lens all right I might just set, I might upgrade them if it doesn't have any point of differentiation, but I wanted to show you what the guns were like first. So first off, these are ones that I'd set up before, so they should be lining up okay. Yeah. So, hear that? All right, here we go. So for instance, yeah, see it's still not running perfect. Bollocks, why is this? I might have to, I might have to do this another night then if it's going to be this bad. I'll have to do it after my upgrade because I'm planning a CPU upgrade and stuff. It's not bad, it's like a i7 or whatever they've got but all right it's fucking sweet and then so you can do whatever you like i'm going to get that in there the, the uh, touch controllers don't hold as as well as some of the other stuff but uh then you just can allow me I don't remember, is it pull? It's just a release. And then snap. Yeah, clearly I'm having trouble here. Grab under barrel, snap back on, job done. That's that. Uh, so how's this? Uh, so if I had some up there, let's get into a game properly. Hey? I just wanted to see what this was all about because I. I don't know that I've explored this level before. It's like one of the new levels. Pretty cool. And we will be checking out Onward as well. Maybe Onward will have better performance. Who knows? Like someone's going along and you're like... Can you get up there? I wonder if the audio is in sync for you. Okay, so that's that. And then if you need to throw your gun away or whatever, normally what I do is I, I leave my hand on this front one, and then on the side one, you can grab a pistol or whatever. Or even if you got a, you can kind of, you can, you can leave this drop if you need to, by your side, like that. And then you can just, you know, take your freedom. 
so if you really, really wanted to. All right, that's done. And then you swing that back, reconnect. And it takes a little bit, and so it's not perfect for like Pavlov and stuff, but let's go ahead and get into a game. All right, let's see, here we go. Leave that match and go to something else. These controllers don't like to fit perfectly. I don't know why. They're not as they're not as good as like the Vive or the other touch controllers in terms of fit. They don't stay in the cups as much, and I'm not sure why. But it's just they need a little bit of a little bit of love. Shove them in there. Once you get them in there, they're good, pretty solid. But up to that point, it's a bit of a question. So um, we will keep going. So Brad, just got the force tube or had it a while? I've had it a while. I've had it quite a while. Um, I try to get back to it as much as I can because it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Let's see what EU games are around. I just, I, I think I'm, I'm not going to be able to mm, control. You can join that. I got I to gotta get the graphics up, up a little bit though because uh, right now this is like pretty disappointing in terms of what uh, what the CPU is allowing me to play it at, which is weird because I'm encoding on a different a different one altogether. It's just strange. Okay. Uh, I don't know what my default deployment is. What is it? It's this guy. All right. Let's go. Let's go try. All right. I need a friend to flank with me. All right. Let's see if we can get him. Oh my god, that resolution is horrible. All right, hold on. I can't. I can't. I can't blow. Right, Stairs is down. They're at 93, guys. We got a rush. You blo you exploded them. Then go get on it. Go get on it. There we go. Looks less like trash. <laughs> Bring it on, buddy. You got to do the jump on that. Seems to be running okay. I'm, I'm arriving on the point. I need some cover. I'm coming. I'm popping smoke on the point. Got any active shooters down there? Better not. No, not right now. I just took them out. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm going. Could have only been the one. Let's neutralize. Let's go. Move on. Next point. Okay. All right. I'm with you. Don't worry, I'm in. Tell me, where is he? Good shooting. Yeah, I got him. He was up top. <laughs> this would be a lot of fun. Just another fun for 300 quid. Um, it's like my other shakers. It's pretty freaking good. It's pretty good. <laughs> if you try it, I think you'd change your mind, actually. Um, it depends on how much you do these things. If, if you're an FPS guy, then it's, it's a must-have. If you're not, then it's too much money. For now. Shit. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Fuck! What a fucking hacky bastard! <laughs> Shit. I got taken out trying to uh, flank. Fucking out. 
<laughs> I gotta get used to this gun now. And I gotta, I wish it would save when you decide you want it on, on single fire instead of burst. I hate burst. You gotta do it every time. It's up there somewhere. There we go. Ha ha! Fuck you. Fuck! Man, I got a fat ass. <laughs> Jesus, Jennifer Lopez has nothing on me. Nothing on me. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> ah, he says, if you're going to buy it, guessing you would want the whole package. Yeah, absolutely. And it's uh, stupidly expensive. What <laughs> up? Zambillo. Middle field somewhere here. I can't, bro. Mid, middle, middle field, second, uh, second house on the second left. house, okay. And one, one. Oh, shit! Staircase. Top of the staircase. Found a staircase. Shit. Lovely jubbly. Jesus, Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great phrase. That's fantastic. If I inspire that, man, I have... I, I could die happily now. I've given back to the world. <laughs> fucking hell, that guy. And he's just using the standard fucking rifle. Good shot. Jesus. Jesus, Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Alright. Grippy grabby. Uh, but the, the, yeah, the kickback feels so good. This, this back controller doesn't want to stay. Watch that staircase. Lad back there. Probably still there. Don't see him. Alright, moving up. They're transmitting. We gotta interrupt that. Nearly won this one, they... Oh! Oh, Factory! Got a few uh, Spaniards in here. <laughs> yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Is that a tiny bit of drift? Yeah, there's there's small bits of drift in this, all right. There is. All right. I'm going to stick with the same gun for now. But uh, in a bit, I will show you what like an op equivalent looks like. Which is pretty amazing. This is probably just loading the level or whatever, which is why it's a little bit, a little bit janky. What up? Yep. Exactly. Now, you're not familiar with contractors. When you drop your gun, it allows you to run. All right, let's get a little bit sticky. Might need to turn down something. AA or something. You can see it's pretty solid. There's a guy. I 
Any of the judder and shudder that you see is because of uh, the CPU being maxed. Down there. So again, apologies for that. I will address that at some point. For the moment, I just can't bear it looking more janky than it is. Definitely not running smooth as glass. Cover the right flank here. <coughs> One coming in back door. And then hide them. Ah! Ah! That's where he was. As I said, don't expect any magic. Not. This is, uh. <laughs> this is not a game I play a lot. I wish it was smoother for you. I really do. Yeah, I'll try to get a couple shots off here, see. Deep floor. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Uh, this, is, this is contractors at the moment. We're gonna switch downward a bit. Fuck! Yeah, <laughs> that was a little in intimidating. Fucking hell. Jesus. Now stay in there, you little bastard. I haven't had this problem before with the other... I've got, I've got every fucking under the sun. Would you just... The grip is like wrong. What is wrong with this? What is wrong with you? Hmm. It's like it's not the right. Move my brothers! <laughs> I don't want to wreck the controller either. Maybe a little bit better. At least you're getting a kind of a real flavor of, of how easy and or Difficult it is. Uh, the nicest thing about contractors is it's got a lovely, really lovely um, stock configuration tool. So you can line your stock up and all that with your with your gun. Makes this really interesting. The best part about it is just the immersive side. The fucking ragdoll physics when you die is like just a joke, isn't it? It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. It says, uh, you got the new Mag Cubs for the Rift S on the Pro Tube? Yep, I do. Uh, thanks to Borin, the guy behind this whole thing. Yeah, he just sent me all kinds of stuff. Fucking crazy. I think it was. Uh oh. There was happening. Over the top, maybe? Huh. See that? There was a dude. Ha ha ha! Yeah, longest range kill I think I've had in the game. And you know why that is? The second 
question. Where was that? Not like I've ever expand, expended my entire supply of primary. I don't think so. It doesn't happen often. That's how good a player I am. Mm -hmm. You get to the point. Um, I just wish it would run smoother for you guys because it's great when I'm running offline. I will be upgrading some bits in my system so this can run a lot smoother. But um, for a moment. Oh, you missed me. Neener, neener. <laughs> ah! Fuck. <laughs> There's my big frickin' hairy ass again. Oops, sorry. Ah, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you were hidden behind the flag, nothing showed. Didn't even know that was an option. What was, what was an option? What? That? So as I said, I'm just sticking with this gun at the moment. Um, but yeah. What can I say? Oh, I didn't know you could go up here. I'm having problems though. Look at see the see the difference? See that that shutter? Damn it. I wish I could do something about that. It's Steam VR's fault. The game runs smooth as fucking glass. Even when I'm encoding and stuff. But I can't get the forced to work with it, I think. I, I, could, I could try it here in a second, but I don't think it pairs up. I think it fucking breaks or whatever. It doesn't work. Um, you know what? I think it's worth me trying. I really do. Let me try. Because the running it as I currently am is like really a pain for you guys, and I hate that. So let's, let me do that. Also, for some reason, this doesn't... Look. I'm gonna try this. See if I can get it. Let's take a quick breather. Um, I want to play some more matches with this thing. Really want to get into it, you know. I don't feel in it at the moment. I mean, there's been a few scares there, but other than that, I haven't really gotten in 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 into it. And I really want to. <laughs> An Unreal process has crashed. Oh, really? That's it. Right, so, so yeah, it's working pretty well, but this one, yeah, I'm having some problems keeping that guy in there. This guy has no problem. This guy, for some reason, just keeps wanting to come out. It's like it's not holding the controller in the right spot. Maybe I need to give it, like, a fair amount of pressure and just get it in there. I was thinking maybe even tape it or something, but then I get junk all over the place, and I don't really want that. I don't want to break the ring either, because, like, these things are really not that robust. Like, they're okay. I would, like, jam it in there. And the thing is, it's kind of nice having these on anyway, because they, like, act as a, an extender, so it's, like, more comfortable for a man-sized hand to hold the controllers, because they're a little bit smaller as well. So, that's just the way that is. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think of the initial impression? Is this, who here has uh, seen one of these before? Or I should, should really be asking who hasn't seen one of these before. Um, by the way, the, the solid light means it's paired and it's working. Are these cups made for the OG touch? Uh, are there? Uh, there are cups made... I can get you all kinds of cups. Cups of every size. A, B, C, D, double D. You want to see the double D cups? I will show you the double Ds. So the, the ProTube guy sent me also this, <clears throat> which I actually use as like a gun stock. It's kind of funny. Here, I'll show you what the uh, spare controllers I have from the Quest. So, you'd slot them in, which is left. It's my right one. Uh, so you slot them in, and then, you know, actually I've done that wrong, haven't I? Oh, that's why that wasn't working well. That's weird. Hmm. Anyway, so you, so like you can you can use this, which is just like if you if you leave one of them like relatively loose. 
there we go. If you leave one of them relatively loose, then you can actually have, like, this is just the 40 quid, um, these, these cups go down and you use it for, uh, for being, for sabering <laughs> as a, a dual lightsaber in Beat Saber, which is really good. This, I, these I wouldn't recommend because those will go flying. I don't think that construction is good enough. It needs something to hold it in physically, which they don't have. Um, and the, the different one to that, which is the other, uh, the other one is this one. This one's great. This is for the PSVR. So if you have a PSVR and you're a Beat Saber, Beat Saberer on PSVR, I'll show you how that works. So there's a strip of, of attachy Velcro stuff, right? Which is good, and that's on both sides. And when you take the controller, which already has a nice little like indent shape, it actually snugly hugs it. You just stick it in there, and then you push it back. Like that is not going to come out. Look at this. See, snaps in there. Then you affix this, and like I would, you know, that's never going to come out to be honest. It's like a, it's physical, you're holding it, it that's not going to come out. The other one, you're going to fling that twice and it's going to freaking jettison. So if you really want to be beat sabering and stuff like that with like two, uh, two bits, you know, like, like it's a lightsaber, this is a fantastic stock for sabering. That's really, really good. So that's that one. I can show you the other, um, the other cups and stuff. Just give me two seconds, I got to grab them. Two seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. So I've got a little box here of extra bits. Okay. So um, I'll just show you what those are and how they connect. So it's the same stock. So once you have the one, then you don't need really anything else uh, in there. It says, I believe they do fit, but I could be wrong. It says, um, no, they're not. Um, so you need, you need separate cups. They are different spec. Because again, the, the, grip, the grip matters. So um, first off, that's what you charge your batteries in. Right, that, that comes with it. This is for the Gen 1. There's a Gen 2 that they're working on <clears throat> for, was it Christmas release? So the cup sizes, again, they're not no enormously different, but the, the touch cups, the original ones, uh, you can buy separately, and they are different. These are the ones for PSVR. See the difference? You can see how those, Oh, that's not PSVR. That's PSVR. Yeah. Gen 2 out soon? Cool. Uh, Gen 2 is out, I thought it was releasing in like November. I didn't think it was really that soon. So Gen 2 is there. So if you really wanted to. Now, there, this is the weirdest thing. Right? So again, these guys, because of their shape, it makes it really, really easy. You snap that in and then it's totally fixed in there. But there isn't a game right now that works with the Bluetooth of this that, that feeds through a game API for a PSVR game. I've, I have played with uh, this, but the rumble doesn't work uh, when you play something like Blood and Truth or whatever, and it's not slow enough a game. I need to try it in, I guess I would try it in like Farpoint, but really it's just having a stock helps. Um, but then there you go, so there's your your uh, connector for, for the PlayStation controllers. Trying to, come on. They're really nicely snug. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Um, and then the last ones, which I have, 
<clears throat> you usually get to pick, I think, one of these and you can augment and, and buy extra ones. The Vive, uh, the Vive ones. The Vive ones fit very well. They're just kind of simple slots. Right, you can see the shape of them. And they fit really well. And the Vive works very, very well with this. Like, it, I preferred it over the original Rift as well. Uh, but I don't have it set up in this room anymore. I decided to move it to the other room. <clears throat> okay, so that's, that's that anyway. So now you have an idea of all the different cups and bits. Let me... What's it going to do? I'm going to try to run the Steam game and see if it connects up with this guy. Right now you can see the game is controlling and it's connected, but I, I think when I, when I close and we open through just Oculus Home, I'm going to kill Steam if I can, if it will let me, because I, I would prefer to get rid of Steam and I think that's going to give us the, the, um, the power we need to keep playing like with good performance. We'll just see. But I think this will stop working, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. So you're going to do that, and then uh, the next thing we're going to do is play some Onward. Yeah. Another friend of mine just bought the PSVR, trying my quest, sold them on VR. <laughs> PSVR is great. My God, the, the, the bundles that they've got. Holy cow, Seabass, right? My God. <laughs> Jesus, Jennifer Lopez, you got a lot of cow. Yeah, I do. They, like, sometimes when, um, hard, particularly hardware developers, send me equipment, it's like, holy feck, like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I mean, have you guys seen my collection of VR covers? I've got, like, 20. At the same time, when they send it to me, it's like, you don't really feel like you can sell it on or whatever, you know, give it to someone else. So you end up just with, like, a box of stuff like this. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, right, so we're going to go ahead and try to launch uh, this now. All right, one second. Cha, 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 cha. Let me see if I can kill some stuff that I'm not using. Kill that. Kill that. And that. And that. That guy. Let's assume, assume Bell's not working here tonight. Get rid of that guy. So I'm just killing some browsers and stuff that I probably don't need. Um, help free up some CPU. Yeah, I got another 10% there. Cool. Um, good, 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 good. I tried my original Oculus VR cover foam with the Quest interface. Spoilers, it works pretty well. Yeah, the original, yeah, actually the, um, the different covers across the whole range, Vive, uh, Quest, Go, um, Riff, they're, they're all semi-interchangeable, like y you have to kind of mount it in a slightly funny way sometimes, but for the most part, they, they kind of work interchangeably because they're kind of very similar. Um, would you like, like if I, was, if, I, if I was the owner of one, would I still want to buy one specific to the headset? Yeah, I think I, think I would. I would still pay the money. Yeah. It's so comfy though, unlike the Quest. What's comfy? Uh, the PSVR. PSVR was the first sixth off headset I tried at a friend's, loved it, but my sabers would float away when I crouched. I used to have that. That has to do with mounting distance. I have my, my, my camera like far away in the corner and it's the same as the DK2. If you can mount it five feet or more away from you, almost perfect tracking and, and high up pointing down at you is, is what I found is the best. So if you can, like on a curtain rail or something like that, that's where I've got it mounted. Here, I'll show you. Um, see, mine's just up on a curtain rail up there in the corner pointing down at me. And uh, you get it right. And then I'm backed off into the room and like it's, it, it's more than a person's distance away from me laying down between me and the camera. And that's important because otherwise things, you get floaty bits or it says you're outside the tracking range and that's all really annoying. Um, okay, let me make sure I'm not confusing my, my devices here. <clears throat> and we're going to keep going with showing you guys how this works. So we're going to try contractors now uh, just through just through Oculus Home. Um, if it doesn't sync up, then the bug that was there before is still there, and that's going to be annoying, but in fact, it will deal with it. Uh, contractors, have I got it? I think I do. If I don't have it here, contract. We'll just try onward if that's not the case. Contractors. Um, I'd have to download it. Okay, let's do onward. Back it. And then we can go back. Because it's just, just not performing well, is it? Uh, all right, onward. Onward. 
wrong word. Oh, I have to do steam. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, gets you way closer to the lenses to increase FOV. Uh, when, well, what, with the VR cover? Some do, some don't. It depends on the padding. Some of the foam is like feckin' proper padded out. Anyway, I'm gonna try contractors again, and then we'll do the jingle. We'll do the jingle. Okay. Jeez, that thing buzzed at me. Right, what are we doing first? This guy. Now the controller's up. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, it is so freaking fun. It's really, really good. That's all I can say. It's just super, super, super good. <laughs> I, I know I sound like super biased, um, but my most of my shakers cost around the 300 mark. And they are so worth it, in my opinion. Because it makes just makes all the difference when you feel like you're in it and you're actually doing it. And in this case, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm holding a rifle. And that's just like... That's really cool. I'm like, I'm the kind of guy, because I was through a school shooting once, for those of you who don't know me very well. Um, sad event. Nobody died, but I got shot six times in the stomach. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a jackass, actually. <laughs> Some people are like, yeah, he deserved to get shot. But um, yeah, it was at a prestigious school as well. And yeah, uh, fuck, you know, it was messed up. Anyway, I'll tell you that story another day. All right, let's see. Is this going to work? Yep. Nope. Try that again. See, I think it's because it's the Steam VR thing. And of course now it's gonna run perfect, isn't it? Right? So So like the game runs fine. I'm just like I'm playing that that horrible game of Steam VR being needed requires Oh, it's working now. Oh, brilliant. Oh, excellent. Now we can actually play it proper. Oh, much better. Okay, so we just fixed our problem. That's so much better. Okay, let's uh, let me put that away. All right, let's go by server list. Find what we can find. Ch -ch Ching goes. Um, yeah, looks good. Lumber, public. Thank you, baby. All right, now, let's go. Loadouts, let's change our gun. Let's go for something different. Hello. I'm gonna go fucking proper. I don't think I set these up though. I don't think I set those up. I set the rifle up. So we'll go for this guy. No suppressor. Reflex sight's fine. Yep. There we go. Good. Sweet. Much better. CPU used only at 93. Cool. I follow this guy. He's a hitman. He knows what he's. Ah, oh, back. Uh, <laughs> oh, groove. Oh, shit, back where he is. I like you. <laughs> Lumber's a good old map. <laughs> Yeah, your truck sim is, is one of the games I started off on there. It's awesome. Really good. ETS2 is a great game. Uh, Alright, let's go. Where are we? Wildlands, I think. I like yep. it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm clearly a professional. <laughs> All right. All right. I kind of wish you could turn the names off. I don't think you can. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
All right, we got him. Right here. I changed this. Up. Cap, cap, cap. I'm sure they come this way. That's what I would do. Smoke coming. Is there one down there? Do you see one? He's down. Okay. Grab that intel. <laughs> ah, back fucking out. There he is. Tree. That. Hey, Dad. Want to go fishing this weekend, Dad? Dad, 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 Dad. Okay. This is good. Now it's actually performing properly. Good. I'm moving from the left. Moving in. On the point, one of the logs. Keep an eye out. Sorry, fist. Still getting data. Oh, shit, I got no bolt. It's all good. See you, Charlie. Fuck it, this three. I'm changing. Oh, thanks for staying. I should mute myself. But yeah, it's pretty compelling. I'm looking forward to seeing what Onward's got Two. to offer as well. That'll be next. I'm glad this thing works. So a quick on off actually sorts it, which is good. Say if you were a kid, you would struggle with the size of this thing, though. All right. Mm 
I'm going to try something here now. I want to see, can I prove the res? Just to see if I can be a little bit more. All right, that's hidden. It's okay, stabilized. I'm just checking my CPU to see if it's like if it's gonna be able to hack it. Because I want the visibility at distance. Where'd he go? Oh. Gotta go up there, right? Already went through. Nice job. Yeah, where are they going to come from? Oh, they're there. Yeah! <laughs> it's really good when you get them. Hey, how's it going, Joe? Oh, you got the cloth? Good man. Good man. I'm glad it made it. Good man. <laughs> Small thing, eh? But, uh, nice to have. <laughs> Can't ever have enough of them. Hey, we won. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Prison! Alright guys, I'm taking a break. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Cheers! I'm going to take a zero kill. Oh, you hit it, you hit it. Prison it is. Yeah, I'm going to take a break. Yeah, it's true that you hit a kill, but you hit it, because you hit it. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, I think I'm going to take a break. I'm glad we finally got this working well. Um... I'm glad I learned that running it through SteamVR is not required. Performance is so much better now. Feels good. Let's stick with rifles because that's what I set up earlier. Stay in the frickin' thing, would you? <laughs> oh shit, what did I do? Ah, oh, crashed. What? Guess it's a good time to switch onward. Damn it, I was having really fun. Just as we get it working, we switch, huh? Feck. Oh well. 
Get I'm up. just a regular person like you. I know you are, Belle. We all believe it. I believe it's so... This is not the order in which I should have taken things off. Headset. Uh, here we go. Super. Uh, oh, boy. I love it. Look at that thing. I mean, she is a beauty, isn't she? It's just like really nice. Right, I've got some tomorrow. Got work? All right, see you, Doc. Thanks for hanging. Um, really lovely. Anyway, if you ever get a chance, worth playing with. Um, right. Now, onward. Onward to onward. I haven't played onward in back in forever. Now, question is, will it still have the same thing? Hit that like, people. If you hate him, also hit that like button. <laughs> yeah. Uh, launching. There we go. I haven't played onward in a long time. Long, long time. They released a big patch. I noticed there's a loading bar. Easy anti-cheat is running. That's new. Um, and where's my game menu? Where's my game mode? Don't see it running just yet. They did some great improvements, did they, Joe? Okay. But yeah, like, I, I don't even remember how you take out the tablet and stuff. I remember that stuff being like, totally like, what is going on? I do like showing this stuff off, though. It's really nice because then you get an opportunity to see it and you're like, oh, right. Well, I would buy it. I would not. It's so nice, though. Like, the, um, the kind of finish on it is really cool. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a, it's like a carbon fiber. Um, I wish I could show you. Maybe this side. Can you see that? It's like, see that carbon fiber finish? It's actually more pronounced than it even shows on the camera there. It's really nice, and they're all that way. It's like, it's a nice piece of equipment. Like this is definitely something I would. Uh, it's about three hundred, but I would I would definitely pay for it. Um, absolutely. Like I said, force feedback wheel was about that price. Uh, the the butt shaker was about that price. So yeah, it's fucking worth it. If you play a lot of FPSs, it's worth it. If you don't, maybe not. Probably not. If you're a Beat Saber person, just get... You, the other thing that I think is really cheap is, is literally you just get one of the, the rails like this. It's not even a stock that you hold to yourself. It just holds the controllers together. And that's really good. Tony, see ya. Uh, this is called... Whatchamacallit simulator? Hoeing. Hoeing VR. <laughs> I've been hoeing my garden and planting carrots. Either that or something else. What could you use that for? Something else. Still loading. We're just waiting patiently. Um, I hope the scratchiness on the mic hasn't been too bad tonight. Looks like it's been okay. One thing I got in the mail. Does anyone else get excited for cables? I get excited for cables. <laughs> uh, like, I've got this stupidly long. Let me see if I can show you. And I mean stupidly long. This is the this is the cable that when uh, like I got my quest. Oh, does that sound like Downpour Interactive to you? It sounds like Downpour Interactive to me. I got this cable. So USB C to like quest. Alright, I'll show you how long this is now. Uh alright. <laughs> it's like this thing is like an extension lead. It's crazy. It can go out my room, down the hallway. This was in case my casting method with Quest didn't work, then I would have this. So I've been running this all the time. It's like coiled up on my desk, and I'm like, I don't really need that much of a cable. I'm just going to get a short one. So I picked up a short one. You get to see it in a second. Don't worry. And then I got this one. A nice, like, short one meter power lead. That's just for one purpose. Connect the Quest to the PC. That's it. And it came with this weird little like leather strap. Look at that. Isn't that odd? It's like, but it's kind of nice. So you kind of fold it up. 
I get excited about these things. It's silly, I know. But like, a five quid cable makes me super excited. I don't know why. It's like, easy. It's just easy little thing. And then you can just connect it together. A little bit of leather strap with a nugget. And then, there. Ready to go. Job done. So, happy about that. Right, let's see how these things go. That is a good sign. See the constant light? It means it's being controlled. That's good. That's not too annoying, by the way, here. It doesn't like cast light or anything. I know LEDs can be really annoying. So it's not, it's not too bad. Okay, let's see how we're doing. All good. Okay. So. Now. Now, 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 now. Um, game capture. Now, if the game capture is not great, I'm going to have to settle for something else. Let's see how my TP is 85, so not too bad. Okay. Same deal as usual. Stock first. I'm going to do the others. I kind of just wanted, like, a chill night. This has turned into anything but. It's been like a whole run of experiments. Like, what can we do? Alright, you can't see this yet. Let's see here now. Hmm. Can't see that? Should be able to. Okay, mirror time it is. Ate up like five additional percent of my CPU. That's fine. We'll live with it. Let's go ahead. Welcome to Onward. Oh, now they got dudes walking around and stuff. Service connected. Steam connected. Big guys up in the tower and everything. That's kind of cool. I like peanuts. Nice. Very different to what it's been before. Right, let's go. Are you right or left handed? Right. They asked me these before. Uh, pick the nearest for correct player scale. Uh, uh, default recommended for room scale setups, no snap turns. Default. So prefer to see your hands. Hands please. Prefer to use proximity attach or grip button attach to steady your weapon's aim. Proximity attach or grip button attach. What the heck does that mean? Oh, I love how they uh, have the Onward logo with kind of like this pseudo 3D effect. I use that all the time when I do graphic design stuff. Looks so nice with the smoke and everything. This is really quality and it's running super smooth. They've done a good job. Um, button? Anyone, anyone know better? Is it used to play on the Rift rather than the Vive? Um, in this room, yes. Uh, is it easier to get in and stuff? Hard to say. For your sidearm to be holster on your chest or hip? Hip. Uh, thank you. Bugs. Okay. Here we go. Marsoc Training Ground gives troops experience with a variety of weapons and equipment. Periodic review of the training course is recommended for all troops. Okay. Loading up. All good. Yeah, I, I mean, like, the nice thing about Rift S is that setup time is pretty reduced. Like, you don't have that much that you need to do to get this thing up and you plug it in, you take the controllers out, you go through setup, and job done. There's no um, cameras to install and stuff like that. So, comparing to Vive, it's quite simple. Vive, Vive took me three hours to set up. 
this took me, this would take me probably 20 minutes. And half that time is just actually when you're in it. Welcome to Albert Tutorial. This brief introduction of the game will walk you through the basics of gameplay. Ensure that you can enter the battlefield with the knowledge needed to survive. Love if, like, one life per copy of game. While well, we highly recommend that you follow this quick tutorial, you may press the Y button to skip at any time. Move. Use the thumbstick on your left hand. The further the edge you press, the faster you will move. To sprint, push in the thumbstick. Okay. Please move towards the highlighted location. All right. There may be small adjustment period where you might experience balance issues or mild discomfort. Yep, in there. In addition to using the thumbstick, you can also move around in your play space. Please mind, so you can actually like, I love when you like put a, a bipod up on something or whatever. All right, continue. To grab the M16 rifle, which is now on your chest, move your preferred hand to it, just the grip button. Pull the trigger to fire the weapon. Please fire the whole magazine. Oh. What's the problem? Bad weapon. I don't understand. Now need to reload, press A to release, grab a new mag from your vest. This holds to your weapon when you're finished. Okay, some weapons like the AKM will require you to hold the A button on the hand. The weapon is in. Pirates have gold. Zim has this. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Bring it on, buddy. Then pull out the magazine. Yeah. You now have an AKM on your vest with a corresponding magazine. Please reload it. Now you have a sidearm to your vest. Grab the sidearm. Like your primary weapon. Also study the sidearm. Please fire the whole magazine targets. Put in the same as your M16. Please holster the sidearm when you're finished. In other words, communication is key. Move either hand to your left shoulder, press and hold the trigger. Hello? Using your built-in or external microphone whilst holding the trigger, you'll be able to communicate. Okay? The nearby, don't. Okay. Don't, 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 he says. Don't, 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 don't. To release the trigger to end the radio transmission after you finished, yep. Yeah. In Onward, you always spawn with a syringe. To grab the equipment on your vest, please grip use the grip button now. Grab the syringe now. Alright, and stick this around the back. Oh. Is there. Here's the syringe. Are saying horrible things in chat. Better check hands, that out. Chest. Move the needle to your hands, chest, or head. Similarly, other equipment on your vest can be used. Grab the grenade. Pull the pen. Boom! Close combat. Grab the knife. Hit. 
it's centered around attacking or defending. Tablet. Oh, that's a much better tablet than it used to be. Oh, that's cool. Got like a serial interface. SSD, ops, GPS, reset. It's like proper. Look at that. The tablet will show a colored dot. Colored dot. For any friendly soldiers. Green is full health, yellow is injured, red is critically wounded. A red cross indicates a soldier that's been downed but is available for a revive using your syringe. The objective will show on your map as a large white dot or a symbol. Okay, this is the tablet. Find and move to the objective. Now that you're close enough to the objective as an attacking team on the uplink game mode, you'll be able to input the code on your tablet and win the game. The escort, you simply have to escort the VP to the red smoke. As the defending team for each game mode, you would have to prevent the attacking teams from doing the above. Please type and send the uplink code on your tablet. What is the uplink code? <laughs> what? Code. 306-1989. You would have just won to put away your tablet again. Back to the back. To grab small objects. Blah, blah, blah. Options on the settings menu. Okay. That's actually a really nice tutorial. Like that, that really sets you up. And, and for, you know, for 10 minutes, I think making that mandatory is really smart, actually. Because that is necessary. So that you don't, you're not just a numpty who's wandering around like, not sure what to do. And uh, now it's loading. So there you go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's a good start anyway. I'm glad about that. Again, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this little cup. It's definitely like, it doesn't, see that's okay now. But it really needs like, to get jammed in there. For some reason the left one is not giving me the same problem. All right, now, something I don't know, I think there is a setup mechanism. People are saying horrible things in chat. Better check that out. No, I will not. Okay. So we're back here. This is uh, a little slightly different environment. I guess it's because I've... I love the logo though. It's really nice. Okay. Settings. Volume. Gun volume. Realistic. Ooh. Quality graphics. I am probably going to break it. I'm going to warn you now. I am going to break... Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> We've gone to Disneyland. This is so weird. Um, yep, we broke it. <laughs> I just clicked the lowest button. I took it back. I didn't mean to. It's probably one of those things where it like... The, you know, I would prefer to be able to cycle through the options and press apply. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Oops. I uh, did it again. Zim broke. <laughs> uh, oh man. Jesus. It's still apparently working. The game hasn't. Oh. Oh, now we're on low settings. I think I'm not going to touch that ever, ever again. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? All right. Weapon grip button press. Dominant hand right. Radio position left. Gun stock. Physical. Virtual. Oh, there's a virtual one. It says, uh, this prevents aiming up. What does it say? 
This says the direction your non-dominant hand points is tilted down when gripping a gun. This prevents aiming up and trying to move forward, causing you to move backwards due to the way the controller is mounted in the stock. Bringing a gun grabbed with both hands close to either shoulder will cause it to behave like a physical gun stock. Close to either shoulder. Does that mean like that? Uh oh, Zin. I think Smoothing. they watched that video of you crying over Thank a video you, game. All right, all right. Enough, thanks. When enabled, gun position and rotation is smooth to alleviate tracking judder. I'm gonna leave it off. Thumb and I right, watch hand auto, turning method. It's fine. Sprint mode single. Yeah, knife damage input. Okay. Uh, small object grab. You, uh, which button is used to hold small items such as syringes, grenades, and stuff? Grip. That's fine. And hold to grip enabled. So everything else is good. Okay. So settings look great. Okay. So let's go multi. Social. What's social? Oh, look at that. 82% playing. That is so smart. That's really cool. What's social? A monthly rotating playlist of modes which are a bit different than the core gameplay. Gun game will be playable for two more days. Fucking hey, Let's do gun game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Welcome to Bazaar. I don't like that it's uh, so see-through, actually. It's not quite as nice. And the same thing as Jake? It just does that when it loads? Alright. Thanks, Jake. Good to have that feedback. Each kill earns you better weaponry. Not really better weaponry. Not necessarily. Oh, it's still loading. I like this. This is just like a loading page. Um, but you can actually study the map or whatever. It reminds me starkly of Insurgency, which was an amazing game. Like, ball busting hard and like, really nice. Um, almost like, let's say, Iranian territories and stuff. And then it would be, you know, I don't know, Americans versus Insurgents or something like that. I say Americans. They always, they're always like, where are the Americans? Freedom fighter figure. Yeah, <laughs> you know. It's like, they're fighting too. They have a legitimate reason for being where they are. Uh, Northern Afghanistan. Okay. But yeah. I'm going to see what the gun stock is like in, in Onward. I've never used a uh, gun stock in Onward. It's always been free floating. So this will be a new, a new thing for me. I wonder what it's going to be like. I have no idea. Uh, Mr. Mike, Virtual Reality Oasis, uh, and I have played some... FPS games together, and he was saying that the, the stock uh, tool in this isn't as... Oh, this is the old grab a helmet. Grab a helmet. Mars. Whoa, this looks so much better. Holy cow, it feckin' looks great. Oh man, it finally looks so, like feckin' proper. Hey, hey, hey. Jump. Ready up. Oh, is it just me? Waiting for players. One other one ready. I can start. Hell yeah. I am my own boss. <laughs> and it fades to black. And it goes red. Respawn kill with every weapon. Right. So. I don't get a weapon yet? Is that because no one joined? <laughs> That's not fair! It's like 360 mode, so there's no turning. I should probably put turning on. I'm gonna need that. Alright, we'll have to go join someone else's game then. Unfortunately, I, um... It works a lot better with Oculus Home than the previous game. Give up. What was that? 
I was able to do some kind of hand movement thing. What was that? What was that about? That's weird. Why did they give me the rotation thing? Okay. You. Go there. <laughs> Seems to work. It's all right. But man, it looks so much nicer. Hey, Buck, how's it going? Um, he says, um, if the Quest had the power to run this game, you can imagine all the people playing this in the parks. Uh, it's coming, Joe. It's actually coming. Hope we're all doing well. Yeah, Joe, how was your, how was your poker night? Okay, let's see here. Give up. You committed suicide. Not good. I would kind of love if it gave you a number for like your, um, your local suicide hotline. For immersion sake, you know? Alright, <laughs> look, it even says it there. You committed suicide. It's very damning. Um, can I? Is that like room scale? Is that what that is? Scale of room? And then. That's like the smallest room possible. There's the VR headset. Oh, hang on a second. I'm getting caught in my machinery. Bear with me. Okay. Look. All right, troops. We're going to go to the marker, the market, right here. And then after we do that, we're going to go down this corridor, go over here to this truck. And then at this, tr at this truck, this truck, you know what we're going to do? Lots of, lots of security, security. Lots of security. Security forces. Security stuff. What, what is this about? It's so cool. What does that mean? What does that do? Turn to the tent, take off the goggles. Oh, it's a it's a browse feckin' A. It's a it's a I can watch the scoreboard and float around and I can use the hand position to control where I'm looking at. Look at how well it's running. I mean, I'm encoding and everything else, and it's like frickin' polish, this thing. Look at that. Look at that. This level looks amazing. Man, I had no reason to, like, come back to Onward, and now I'm feeling like I'm going to be doing this a lot. Buck, get your feckin' ass in here. <laughs> we got to do this, man. We got to do this. This is awesome. So cool. All right. Let's go. It's all right. If you who wants more? Hey, is there somebody in here? Yo, yo. Ah, oh, several people. Where do I spawn? I think it said it said it back at the main courtyard. Oh, here we are. get out of this. Back there. There we are. Fucking shit. <gasps> All right. Oh, okay. So we're gonna... Oh, you just saying it's okay. Come 
somebody and my stuff in and stuff in the Oh, I think I got him. Mr. Baldhead. Sweet. I will not do as you command. Can't wait to get my quest and play games like this. Oh, it's so good. I need to stop helping. That was cool. I, I exchanged with the guy, which is nice. How we doing, team? You were shot by Bill. Was I? I didn't notice. Alright, let's see if this works. Kinda, I'm not sure it's working yet. Oh, I forgot the launch thing. I have to put the force tube in. Yeah, it's not working, right? There's a launch parameter that's needed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do the launch parameter. Let me go do that, and then I'll do that. You want me to hop on? Yes, I do, Buck. Yes, I do. We can uh, Discord if you like. Yeah. Oh boy. Right, let me try this one. You got the cable caught. <laughs> Worst. Okay. It's generally going well. I'm kind of happy. Lawnmower looks amazing. Holy cow. And, um, yeah. Looks really good. But the thing I don't like is, like, when you die, it's not as satisfying because it's, like, instant. Just like that. And I think that's because it's tactical. You know, you're not supposed to see or whatever. Give me five, ten minutes. No worries. I'll be on for a while. At least an hour. Um, right. Or, yeah, best part of an hour. 45 minutes, I'd say. Alright, so let me go ahead and, uh, there's something you have to plug in. And it's, what is it? What is it? I think it's just properties dash force tube. Or force tube VR. Trying to relaunch it. So hopefully it'll work. It's nice. I, I'm not like particularly sleek with this yet. I need to obviously spend a little bit more time with it to get better at it. But I do like it. It's a good experience, good feeling. This is not my son approved to. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's really no problem. 
not having a stock is not a problem at all. In fact, you're kind of at an advantage for quite a while. You know, I really wouldn't worry. He says, yo, it's the guy who would constantly be running VODs in the VR. <laughs> oh my God. It's funny, dude. <laughs> I think you don't, I think you totally misunderstand the feedback that I was giving. <laughs> the point is that there should be a dedicated VR category. Um, anyway. I can already tell you're not the kind of gentleman to have a conversation with, so you're welcome. You can hang here if you like. Again. Um, bum, 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 bum. Right. Good. Let's go. Right, oh. Very good. All right, now you're not going to... Oh, you can't see this. All right, because I'm using the mirror. Okay, cool. Right, where's my... Don't move when I tell you to stay put. Try again. Now, I've added the launch bits, so we'll see if this will work or not. It's may, it may or may not work. We will see. Um, we have the solid light. If that turns solid, it's a good sign. Okay. Because it means then the game is launched and it's taken over control. Um, it's a very simple setup from a Bluetooth perspective. I did have to remove the device and re-add it to get it to sync up. Yeah. Come on. I don't know why it's taking some time. Sorry, Steam says something. What are you saying to me, Steam? Steam says an error occurred while updating onward. App running. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so... Says I'm not mad. I missed the category. I'd be checking it and see it. That's all. Oh right. Don't worry. Um, how do I say your name? Z S R Q Puha. That's a cool name though. Puha. It sounds like Commander Puha. A ten hut. <laughs> Commander Puha's in the house. Where'd that come from? Is that like a string of digits or something? It's almost like a password. It's almost like a password. Like a '90s password, not a these day passwords. Passwords are crazy, man. Uh, let's see. Are we going to launch? It is loading, apparently. I've got like a... Is it loading Steam VR though? Please don't load Steam VR. I don't know what it's doing. That's the thing that, like, Onward doesn't do as well. Oh! I felt it! Oh, she rumbled. Ooh, that's good. Alright, uh, should I... I'm so tempted to put the sub pack on now. Yeah, I'm a horrible person. Let's do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's too much stuff. It's too much stuff. I can't do it. No, there were some people who were like, like really coming at me on uh, Twitter about my comment about the VR category having gotten taken away. And they're like, yeah, all you did was flood it. I'm like, dude, if <laughs> me having, me promoting the channel through having a reruns thing in there is like, and it's independent of my normal channel, you know, it's not like, it's, it's, a, it's a dedicated rerun channel. <laughs> I just love that people were like, you yeah, know, you're bitching at Twitch about this. It's like, you just don't get the message. Uh, it was really funny. Because we have people in like Russia, the thing is I run it at a lower bitrate. So it opens up so other people can watch the show when they can't watch the live show. Um, which is a real problem. People don't realize that. Like. And, the problem with Twitch is it doesn't allow you to open up transcoding unless you're a partner. I've been five years streaming on there with a modicum of success. I've got 14,000 followers, but I still don't have transcoding for my audience. Um, so YouTube, you do. You can scale it down to 360 and watch it. Can't do it on Twitch. It sucks. Balls. It sucks Elephant balls. Size lows. See? That's what Bell's saying. All right, core. I kind of like the social thing. Let's go. Let's go co-op though. Just play the game as it's meant to be played. Curious what uh, improvements. So we've seen the training so far. We've seen that they added the social mode. I like that. I like that. It reminds me of like Left 4 Dead when we used to have like mod modes that would cycle through. Those were pretty cool. Game mode co-op evac. Survive against an onslaught of AI hostiles. Right. Um, suburbia day. Um, is this like going to show me a server browser or is this just joining me to do a game? I'm not really sure how this is going to load up, we'll see. Huh. 
Zach says, I'm surprised Oculus themselves haven't come out with something for streaming. Same, Zach. I, I think that there would be. Uh, no worries. Is that super old? I know that. Because the uh, <laughs> letters connected in a Tetris-like shape, and then they changed the keyboard layout right after. Whoa, is it that old? This is Vera Hella Dead on Twitch. Yeah, unfortunately, it's... Um, it's struggling. My reruns are still running. They're running right now, you know, but uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> they just don't get the message. I just don't understand it. It's, it's like it, it, it is so hard to see something you put so much time into, try to support it, get it off the ground, and then to have to kind of hang your hat and say, you know what, I'll see you lads. I'm going to be over on YouTube. And it's like, I haven't made the formal decision yet. I still am like wishing and praying that they wake up and I still bleed purple, but I figured, you know, I gotta, I gotta exercise this muscle. I gotta see what it's like over here. And there are some major benefits. The performance is better. It does less artifacting. It allows people to scale and watch from wherever they want. There's the automatic VOD bit where people can watch it back when they like to. There's discovery. So there's just like a whole bunch of things that are just better for them. Anyway, I mean, let's go. Marsock! Oh, very cool. Who's lit up? So the, this is like, do we want to watch it this way? Or third person? It's pretty cool. Man, he's got a feckin' full on... Alright, so they're having some kind of issues? It's cool though. Weird. Alright, let's uh, do this way maybe. Our team was successful. Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. Evening. Out of curiosity, is the Pick map? Up everybody else's gun and kill them with it. Ah, great load of shit. Uh, except. Difficulty two of eighteen. Um, <laughs> um, hmm. Specialist. Do that. All right, we'll see how this works. Uh, that board. The new board, is that, um, is that shared amongst all of us? So if you draw something on it, do I see it? Co-op evac. So we're not fighting against each other, it's just against AI. It's really interesting. No, we're fighting NPCs. Right, non-player. NPCs and then make it to an evac. All right. Or a lot of enemies. It's pretty cool. Gun models look good. Howdy dowdy. Right. Let's go. Shit. Holy shit's freaking bleeding out. Hero. Oh, Fence. Oh shit, I just fucking dropped my ammo again. I need to obviously customize this and edit it. Can get it again. I'm such an idiot. Stay in the gun, please. No. Help! Help! <laughs> I'm 
Oh, my pistol! This mode is jank. This mode is so jank. Fuck you! Ah! Terrorists! I'm just glad they can't aim. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking janky as hell. That is fucking. Mike seems to be brushing occasionally. Yeah, sorry. That's this. Here, <laughs> that's my fault. Oh my god, I just went to MR, so MR VR is a horror movie. <laughs> it's a horror movie. <laughs> this is like really underperforming. I do not like this mode. Um. How do I leave? <laughs> Give up. Yeah, please. That's this kind of wave against AI thing, I have no interest in. I want human opponents. Right. Where's my exit? Yeah. No, oh, thank you. I must have picked the wrong mode. Onward is now loading. Oh, I remember that. That was like... But I have to say the levels look really good. Generally, performance is really good. Um, because that was flooded with AI, obviously it wasn't, and it wasn't performing well at all. Um, but otherwise, it's been pretty fun. Yeah. Sorry about the mic thing. I've, I've probably mounted it to the wrong place. It should have been here, uh, but I mounted it over here. And I think it's this cable is probably brushing against it every so often. So I apologize. You know, I'll just think about that next time. I'll try to zip up a little bit. That should help it stay out of the way. Okay. So. Oh, an Apache. I like how these, uh, the loading menus and stuff are different. I don't know if it's worth the loading time, but feck it. Um, right. Settings wise, can I turn down the anti-aliasing? Because I don't need it that high. Shadow distance, shadow cascades, shadow res. Texture res. Okay. I think it's just the anti-aliasing we wanted anyway to... So there's co-op. 79% are playing co-op. Core is the milsim for realistic hardcore gameplay. Wow, most people are playing fucking co-op? Holy cow. And no one's playing social. This is funny. Oh, server browser, right. And then core. Cool. So, um, Buck, when you hop on, just let me know, all right? Uh, gun game. Baldhead. He's the guy who was there before. Must have enjoyed it. VR spectating. Private. Competitive. Friends only. What's all that about? Shooting range. Um, shooting range. I don't know what that's about. I'm happy to try a gun game now. Give it a go. I was having fun with that anyway. Suburbia is dead. See, like, a Suburbia map would be really cool if there was, like, a Breach and Enter campaign or something like that. I'd really like that. I think that would be really nice. If you point at the clock in Dash, I think there's a streaming option, but it only streams to Facebook. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the craft will speed up. Um, keyboard layout on Xbox, I meant. Oh, the keyboard layout on Xbox. Oh, okay. ZSRQ2. Were you a Tetris fan then? Have you played um, Tetris Effect? Tetris Effect is like fucking cool. 
the R1. Very neat. Very mu Very much a music kind of experience. Very ravey. All right. Well, here we go. Anyone you can invite me? Uh, no, Buck, but it's the only gun game. Uh, just search for it. Let's say. And I'll see you in there. I mean, if you want, we can Discord. I don't mind. But I think when you're away, it's hard for you to Discord, right? Grab a helmet. Alrighty. Joining in. Joining in progress. Here we go. Come on upstairs. You come you come upstairs. Oh. Killed your buddy. Killed you too. fun. It's the opposite of... Normally gun game starts off where you have like decent weapons. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Shot by Rody. Oh man, I've played with Rody before. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh -huh. here we go. I'll be hip firing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
off road. Feels good. But I wish I could adjust the location of the stock and stuff. I don't know. That doesn't seem to be working. It's not really in the right place. See, I can't aim down the sights properly. Couldn't shoot for some reason. That was odd. That was really weird. Hmm. Oh, you have to hold grip. Otherwise, you're not holding the can. Heck, <laughs> Mr. Buck got me. <laughs> ah, fucking Buck. Let me get you. Mr. Buckley. Buckers. You mother bucker. <laughs> Hi! Thank you. Ow! The feck? The feck is that coming from? Fuck. Sniper's recon. Feckin' hell. I'm getting owned here. I'm just a regular person like you. Get rid of this gun. Hell, they got to him before I did. I'm gonna be stuck in this weapon now. Shit. <laughs> This is fucking difficult. I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked, boys. For fuck's sake. Dudes with pistols are behind me. Like, come on. Second, like looking at the houses and stuff is so cool. Although none of these houses have glass. How do I change the? Oh, there we go. I'm like not getting much of a chance to... Fuck off! 
Who are you? What are you? I don't see you. <laughs> Defeat. Bald-headed one. Not much of a surprise there. I'm doing not very well. Good fun. My god, this is harder than I expected it to be. We're starting off with um, pistols again. <laughs> There's like a lover's triangle there. The fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my gun? It's a mag. It's a Did I not get a gun? <laughs> Gotta find a dead person, huh? Didn't even have a knife, I just have mags. <laughs> Must have pissed off the people at recruiting. Bang. 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 Here we are. The fire's on bloody hell. Oh, Bald-headed got me. Down I go. You're getting more kills with the finger gun? <laughs> I know. Fuck! Fucking buck got me. Doing good at that corner negotiation. Uh, like what he was saying to me the other day. Hey! Everyone's just getting murdered, like, left, right, and center. Ready. Damn it, that guy's good. He fucking knows what he's doing. Ah. Upgrade. What? You were exploded by bald head. Get That's not, something about that doesn't seem fair. Fuck. Sniper 
first ray gun got me. <sighs> Damn it. Already this guy took it down? Holy shit. Holy shit, that's crazy. Already. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Good, good job, dudes. Crazy. <laughs> Is that you, Buck? Because I recognize the accent. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try. Uh, I'm gonna try without, without this for now. Another like 15 minutes or so. Okay. Okay. Put that to the side. That's it first. All right. Hey, Corey. What's up? I'll use the sub pack if I can. I've got time while it's loading, eh? Sub pack is so cool. I like peanuts. All right, last thing to demonstrate. This is a tactile transducer vest. Vest? Not really. Um, it shakes your back with rumbles or booms. Job done. Stick it up. Let's go. I'm already going to be behind and gun game. I guess it's because of the loading time. We'll see. How's it going anyway, Corey? Been rebuilding PCs. Yeah, how many have you got? Uh, what? Which one? ¿Dónde estás, weón? Si está lleno. Zim talk. Zim talk, the host. He's not starting. He's the host. Thanks, Bald. Yeah, churro. no problem. I got you. I got you, dude. I did it. ¿De dónde eres, churro? No. De México, hermano. De México. Puro México, aquí, motherfucker. Let's do it, boy. Madre mía, por ahí maricón de aquí, de México. Madre mía. Oh, look. Soy de aquí, de México. Kick Zim talk. Why kick me? Guys, I made the game, you know. Let's get this shit on the road. Yeah, they're, they're not starting. Guys, you're the host. <laughs> they just boot me. Or is it actually loading? <laughs> Either that or right. Uh, Buck says I got kicked. Didn't think I was that bad. No, it's just a bunch of Spaniards, dude. Don't worry. Join back in. Uh, or I'll start my own and we can just have a head-to-head, -head. I don't mind. I've only got about 20 minutes here. And I gotta jump ship. But this has been good. Been a little bit... You were kicked. Save. Alright, I'll make my own, so. Uh, create server. Let's do... Um, escorts. Uplink assault. Yeah. I'm gonna do nighttime. I haven't done a nighttime map in a long time. Give it a go. Buck, join my server. It'll be uplink assault, downfall nighttime. Use the server browser. Let's go one versus one. Maybe more will join. 
We'll see how it goes. I just grabbed the mic, I apologize. <laughs> Oops. That was inadvertent. The nice thing about the Rift S is you can like properly shove it in against your eyes. Like it's got very little play. It's like very little play. It's like half an inch. But when you do bring it right in, it's, it's nice. You gotta make sure not to you still give yourself like breathing space or whatever. Good singing. I do like when they sing to me. Yep. Keep singing, lady. Yeah. Choose affection. Bad dudes. Rifleman. I haven't even, even had a chance to create a loadout yet, so. Primary weapon. SKS, please. Not a Makarov. 5.7 is my favorite. Um, iron sight, let's go. Red dot. Explosives. Extra syringe. It's not gonna let me do all that, is it? Is it? New details. Oh. It's pretty neat. It's a pity it doesn't show you the gun though. I missed that. Team chat on. All oh, right. I wasn't talking to people before. That's my weapon. Can I pick it up? I guess it just shows you the gun there. Red dot, it's fine. Primary attachments. Foregrip. Full metal jacket. Standard issue. Okay. Six out of nine points. Ready for players. One out of the two ready. Hey, Mr. Buck, can you hear me? No, you can't. Okay. You have to turn team chat on if you want to talk to me, I think. I don't know if he can. He has to ready up, though. I'll wait for him to configure his loadout. I'll give him 30 seconds. And then we're going to go. That's the SKS that I picked out. Okay. Hello. Was that you, Buck? Oh, it's Aperture. I suppose. Can you hear me, Aperture? Take a nut. One out of three ready. Go ahead and start the game. Go ahead and get it on. Try this today to test tracking, but didn't have time to play properly. All right, very good, Jake. Oh my God, it's dark. What happened to my red dot sight? Oh shit, it's fucking dark. How dark is it for you guys? It's fucking dark. <laughs> You're gonna need me to put the contrast up. There's no way you can see that properly. No way. No way. <laughs> it's so dark. Oh shit. All right, let's do that. Uh, color correction. One second. I'm just trying to make it so you guys can see me probably. I'm, I was picking the wrong thing. This one. 
<laughs> it's better now, huh? Holy cow. You couldn't see anything before, I bet. Absolutely zero. Insights. Battle. Huh. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Absolutely no idea. The objective is that way. Okay. No movement. Let's go. So it's firing at me, I'm fucking screwed. Nighttime gunfire is going to look pretty cool, though. my legs. <laughs> hey Meatball. <laughs> were you playing that round or were you sitting out? I tried. Oh, I didn't even get shot. I didn't even hear you get shot. Wow. So you started maybe firing at the same time. Spawn A, spawn B. Oh, we, we can go again. All right. Okay. I think I play with this guy as well. Fuck it. <laughs> Shit, that's actually... The camera in this game is ridiculous. Why did I go for iron sights? to get fucking close to do anything. This is freaking ridiculous. Hey, what's up? Meatball, where are you?
plucked one. Unless that was my guy. Please tell me I didn't just shoot you. <laughs> Team down, forgive, punish. <laughs> Meatball. Meatball just murdered me. <laughs> That's so funny. He just shot me. <laughs> it was so dark, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I don't know too much longer now. Maybe five minutes. All right, Meatball, you shot me in the face. Oh yeah, you can check in the tablet. Meatball's over there. It is, yeah, yeah. Check your tablet, you'll see the green dot. That's me. One of them down, they were over here picking a body apart. Another one spotted here by the, the uh, house. Mark them. Fucking get away from my communication drone. <laughs> Feels good. Can you help me? I'm mortally wounded. I'm not dead. You can pick me up. He can actually save me if he comes to me. I'm trying to trigger the radio. No, doesn't seem to be working. I'm dying slowly! Defeat, you failed to defend the uplink. No! Oh, that dastardly fecker. No! Oh, they got it done. Damn it. That was good, though. We did work together in the end. Yeah. This is my first time in like a year on this game, maybe two years. I've never put very much time into this game. It's like, it's actually, uh, the training and everything, like, it, they've really done a good job in making it way better than it was. Excited for it. Looks like my buddy logged off here. Um, I probably need to go as well, which is sad, but... I, I could swear I played with you some other time or something, Meatball. I recognize your name. It's weird. Uh, on the channel. Oh, is that it? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> it's probably from just earlier tonight then. My god, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, apologies, dude. <laughs> it's been that kind of week. Oh, well, thanks anyway. I think um, it was fun. Especially when the red dust came in. That was kind of cool. That was very cool. I've never seen that before. That was very cool. Yeah. I, I so want to play more, but um, 
I, I have a, I literally have a bedtime. I've committed to my wife, so I gotta go. <laughs> no worries, man. I understand. All right. Okay, happy Father's Day. Have a good weekend. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, back. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Kvit zap. Right. Well, that was fun. That was cool fun. <laughs> I feel embarrassed now. I'm sorry, meatball. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was watching you uh, like five minutes ago, dude. And, and we, we had a conversation. <laughs> oh, that's fucking horrible. That's horrible. That's me. I have such bad short term memory. Like, literally, Meatball Sausage, you were like, he's literally there in the chat. <laughs> I'm fucking an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Look at it. You can see him. Look, right here, right here. <laughs> I recognize you from somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, that was fun. Anyway, um, so lads, thank you for joining me for a uh, another, what turned out to be more experimental than I was expecting uh, to be. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I didn't even know it was Father's Day, which is not good, because it means that I have to ring my dad and all that kind of stuff. Totally forgot about Father's Day. I just don't pay attention to that stuff at all. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the ProTube with the Force Tube VR module. Feckin' cool. Honestly. Very, very good. Uh, worked quite well and onward. The only thing is I have to figure out how to, like, adjust it so the guns are in the right orientation. Because it was, like, down here and I wanted it to be up there. That was the only thing. On the 16th, I, I still have time. Me and my lizard friends. Mm. Oh, that's really hard to... There we go. Nice, nice boy. Don't bite me. Uh, if you don't believe it, I had these kinds of lizards uh, when I was a teenager. When I used to do, was I'd clip into the ears. They'd bite there because they kind of get pissed off. You just like bang them against your ears, and they'd be like, Arr! and then they bite your ear, and then they just hang there like this. It's kind of fun. Part that wasn't so fun, which is weird, if you've never had lizards before. First off, they excrete uh, a kind of toxin. And so what happened to me as a kid, I'd like catch lizards all the time. This was when I was in the Caribbean and I'd catch lizards all the time. And then um, my, the skin in my hands started to slough off. Like it would literally peel and just like come apart. And it was pretty nasty. Uh, it was like my hands would split open and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't bloody or anything. It was just like the first three layers of your skin were like coming off. And so that like was not, that was not fun. Um, I was like, what's going on? And it was just fecked up. Um, so the other thing I used tonight, which is the, uh, the sub pack. Love this thing. This is so good. Most of you have seen this before. If you haven't, look it up. It's pretty cool. I've got the sub pack M2. The M2X is out. And if you're looking for something else that's a little bit more um, generalized, but tactile, this is a great device. I really rate sub pack well. Good materials, good build quality. Um, I've had loads of fun with it. I personally don't prefer it for music because there's um, because of the Bluetooth. If you Bluetooth to it, um, it's got some interference, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. But it's enough that like as an audio file, I'm like, nah. I don't know if that's just my unit because I bought it used, or if it's something that they all suffer from. But I imagine not because it is basically designed for music. But it works very well for uh, about 40% of games, maybe more. Um, you can see a. Uh, a list of games that I rate as working very well with it. If you look at my tactile section on my reviews, which is at reviews.zimtalk5.com. Like that. Okay. Good, 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 good. So, I think that's probably it for tonight. We covered that. We covered that. Anything else that we need to touch on? I think that's it for tonight. So, thanks for joining me. Um, you all have a good evening. My CPU, I probably need to go research and get a new one of them because this one is definitely having some trouble, but I will do that. Anyway, I need to replace my sun system, which seems to have burnt out on a CPU level. Like, it literally got fried. So, I'll have to do that. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Sorry to everybody who's like, why are you leaving Twitch? I'm not necessarily, I'm just... I'm gonna keep putting more of my time into YouTube, I think. Nah. What happens? deal with it. I will. I have. Good night.